Hey guys, welcome back again. I'm MJ. In this video, I'll show you how to fix Google Play Store not working or not responding or unfortunately has a stop error in Android phone. So topic is how to fix unfortunately Google Play Store has a stop. I will show you step by step. So first go to your phone setting here and then go to apps or app manager like this. Here find the Google services first take the Google Play services where is it okay here go to Google Play services open it and then go to storage here clear catch and now go to manage and then clear all data so remember one thing clearing all data will delete some setting and database of your Google Play Store so we have to compromise something to get back the Google Play Store so Clearing data will delete some your app setting all this thing. Now do the same thing to Google Play Store. Tap on Google Play Store. Do the same. Go to storage and click catch and then clear data. So this will uh, this will delete some setting account and database. So we have to sign again. As I said, we have to compromise something. So do it. Clear data. Now try to open your Play Store if it's still not working again go to app and app manager now open the Google Play Store and here go to three dots and click on uninstall update so this will uninstall all updates of Play Store so the second method if it's still not working you have to force stop the Play Store so tap on force stop then OK your Play Store will disable after disable, open the Play Store and it will ask your ID and password and enter your ID and password and your Play Store will work perfectly. So the third option. The fourth option, try to change your account in your Android phone. Go to setting and then go to here with the account. Okay, here. Account, go to account, then click on Google and here you will see your account detail tap on the dot and here click on remove account so after remove account you need to sign in once again from your gmail id and password so this is the fourth and now go to your google account and sign in your existing id and password the fifth option is you have to factory reset so this is the last option if all these options not working so you need to do factory reset if you don't know how to reset uh, search in my video i have shown detail about how to reset factory reset android phone so that's it i hope one of them will work perfectly with you thank you for watching see you next video please like share and subscribe thank you very much